Well, the rebel advance appears to be gathering momentum. The rebels, it seems, have taken most of Aleppo province. Uh, they've captured the city. It's a massive strategic prize for them. It was heavily fought over until President Assad managed to push the rebels out with the help of Russia and its allies. But there are some incredible pictures uh, circulating of opposition fighters who've captured military bases in Aleppo, um, them sitting quite happily in the cockpit of Syrian jets, uh, pulling tanks away that they've also managed to capture large amounts of ammunition, which shows how bad things have become for President Assad. There has been panic, we think, in Moscow and also in Tehran. The Iranians and the Russians are key backers of the Syrians, and they are now vowing to respond. And we're seeing some of that response. There have been very heavy airstrikes uh, in Idlib. This is the city held by the opposition uh, in what appear to be residential areas. The Russians say they are striking military targets. There have also been airstrikes as well in Aleppo. And we understand that Iraqi uh, militias linked to the Iranians are now crossing the border into Syria to try and uh, shore up defences on the ground. But it will be extremely difficult for President Assad really to retake Aleppo. And it shows how weak his position has become. This offensive has been launched for a number of reasons, but I think it's not lost on anybody that Russia, of course, is bogged down in the war in Ukraine, has diverted its focus and resource to that theatre there. Iran has got its hands full with Israel and its proxies. Most of all, Hezbollah has been absolutely decimated by Israel after it tried to exploit the October the 7th uh, terror attack. So the situation is not looking good for President Assad at all, but he is vowing to respond and he is vowing to roll the rebels back.